Okay, uh, this is uh, part three of the Make Your Own Mobile Game in 60 Minutes video series, and uh, it's sponsored by chromacoders.org, a game dev club to help in students work in teams to make cool video games. Uh, so last time we ended off with me trying to convince you to get another person to uh, join you in watching these videos so that you could um, create a team and form your own little mini studio while you do these uh, while you do this upcoming first game. Um, so the first step is to name your team. So what I'd like you to do is just uh, take 30 seconds, come up with a cool name, uh, you and maybe the person who's uh, also watching it with you. Come up with a cool name for your studio. So you can do that right now, just pause the video. Great. Uh, now the next step is actually to choose roles for your team. So, you know, who's going to be the programmer, who's going to be the tester, who's going to be the artist, etc., etc. Uh, so you can do that now. Uh, just pause the video while you do that. Great. Uh, let's, let's move on now. And let's just do this. Now let's, uh, let's make the first game. As I said before, <coughs> uh, make sure you download the Chrome SDK and install it. Um, and then the next step is actually now there's sample code. So take this code right here. What you're going to do is you're just going to copy this URL and um, just go here and you know download the code and open it up. And you'll see this folder called first game. What you want to do is actually take that folder. And I've already done this, but just drag it onto your desktop. And that will be the code base that will work off to actually uh, complete the first game. OK, so great. And um, now what we're going to do is we're actually going to watch a video that will show you, um, and it's this link right here, that will just show you how, how you can code in Corona and the power of Corona to actually quickly make a compelling game. Uh, so let's do that now. OK, here we go. Okay. Okay. So it's just pretty much saying that smartphones are, you know, growing in just a number of users. All these demos are actually done using the Corona system. And now it's just going to get into how you can easily create something. So if you look at the, there's some code examples. It's using Lua. And what's really compelling is that, look, just in a few lines of code, they've got this thing that you can just run on your phone that looks like that. Now you can just add a little code right here. And it turns, it tur makes all these objects physics objects in a physics simulation. So Corona actually has a uh, box 2D embedded in it. And you can pretty much tie any object into that physics system. And you have these physics effects. So very simple, very easy. This would this would sincerely take about maybe a thou thousands of lines of code, and using the native SDK of either iPhone or Android. So there you go. Um, okay. So so that's a quick demo just to get you. Uh, associated with uh, with the programming language behind Corona. Now let's move on. Um, also, you know, after this talk, what you can do is you can go to learningcorona.com and they have some more tutorials that you can use to get more familiar with uh, the Lua language and Corona and stuff like that. Okay. Um, <coughs> you know, just a quick summary of why Corona is good and why it's being used for this uh, tutorial to actually get a game done pretty quickly. Basically, it's easy to learn. Um, you know, it's got a it's got a really nice simulator that allows you to quickly adjust code and then quickly see what happens to it instead of having to wait two or three or five minutes at compile time. Every time you make a change, you have to compile it, and you know you would normally have to compile it and take two to three minutes if you're running an emulator. Their simulator actually is kind of a breakthrough in the sense that you can just quickly make a change and immediately see the results. Um, it's cross-platform. And basically, a lot of successful games like Blast Monkeys and Zoo Club 
and blah 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 have been made in Corona. Okay, so now let's get started. This is the mobile game lab part of it. Uh, what we're going to do is, um, you know, first we'll discuss the game, and then we will uh, open up Corona and then just load up the basic code. So, so here's the first game that we'll do. Basically, we will make a simple game that uses the <coughs> mobile game design mechanics that we discussed in a previous video, specifically the accelerometer, uh, the touch interface, and uh, vibration. So in this game, what we'll do is we will have bananas fr falling from the sky, okay? And the player can tilt the phone or tablet device left or right, you know, that's using the accelerometer, to move the monkey left or right to catch the bananas um, while they're falling, you know, falling from the sky and hopefully eat them. Now, if the bananas actually fall on the ground, what we'll do is we'll just say that they'll actually get in the way of the monkey, you know, being able to move around. So the player has to tap the bananas once they're on the ground, or if they're on the ground, to remove them. Um, and so that utilizes the touch, uh, touch mechanic, because you have to touch the bananas to remove them. And whenever you do touch these bananas, let's just have the, the phone or device vibrate. And so that uses the vibration mechanic. So that's the basic premise of, that's our little mini game spec. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, what we need to do first is open up Corona. So what you want to do is go to your uh, start button and click on the Corona simulator. Okay, great. And now what you want to do is let's open up that first game project. Okay, so what you, oh, and by the way, see this Corona simulator output? This is the little terminal. And what's cool about this terminal, terminal is it will give you data in case there are bugs or anything else in your code that you need to fix. Uh, so definitely check it out if you if something in your code isn't working out. Uh, so now let's open up that project. So go to Open Project, and what you want to do is go to the desktop and go to that first game folder. And the way Corona works is it needs to load the main.lua file. So that's kind of the main file that Corona uses to actually read your game and actually start running it. So let's just load that. So we open up main. And right now it's a blank screen. So, um, okay, that's cool but we need to actually get this into that game spec that we talked about. So what we need to do is open up the code. So go into the first game folder and see this main.lua? You know, right click on it and I talked about Notepad++. So what you want to do is you want to open that up with Notepad++ and you will see all this code. This is all Lua code, really simple. Um, and we'll walk through it. So <coughs> let's, uh, let's go to step one. And what that is, is uh, basically, this is where we're setting up the background. And let's just do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncomment it. By the way, the two dashes on each line, <coughs> that represents commenting out that line. So we're going to uncomment it out. So local sky equals display dot new image. Okay. And we're just going to hit save. So, you know, save the file. And then what you do is, um, you know, you do that by going to file, save, right? And then what you want to do is go to the Corona simulator and then hit file. Uh, relaunch and you can use control R in the future we'll just use control R but once you do a relaunch look we've just loaded this image on there so that's the first step and um, that's really cool right and what's display that new image how did we even find out about that but what you can do is you can actually go to the corona website and um, if you go to resources and APIs you'll see all the different calls you can make in Corona to actually you know make your game or whatever and it, that means you have access to GPS you have access to the accelerometer and all these other things it's all in the API um, okay so you know what this will this will end this part of the video uh, let's see where we're at actually yeah we're almost at, a, at the 10 minute mark so this will end this part of the video and what we'll do is in the next um, the next step we will uh, just work on the rest of the game game spec. So till next time, enjoy.